everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a little get ready with me and a little story time on how I chose UNH and how I just came to love the school. So in high school, like I just, I wasn't really excited about going to college, I guess. Like I knew it was something I wanted to do. I just couldn't like, get myself to, I don't know, be excited about it. I had looked at many schools and applied to many schools before making my final decision, but it was hard because nothing really spoke to me. I remember I toured one school in Rhode Island and it was beautiful, but it was too expensive. And then I toured another school in New Hampshire and it was just, it was fine. It was cheaper, but it just wasn't like, the school wasn't what I wanted. And it just, it became frustrating almost. Like I felt like there wasn't anything out there that was meant for me. And I had looked at UNH and I was considering it, but it was also close to where I lived. And I knew like a lot of people from my high school were gonna go there. And I just didn't want something that felt like second high school, you know? I was weighing my options and I just, I finally came to the conclusion that UNH is the school like that made sense for me. Financially, like proximity, like, as far as like what majors I was looking at, like what I wanted to do. And I made my decision. And after I just was like, okay. I didn't feel like happy. I didn't feel sad. I didn't feel like excited. I don't know. It was just almost like a numb feeling. And it was difficult because I saw everyone at school who was just, you know, sharing where they were going to school, like wearing their t-shirts and their sweatshirts and being like, oh, I'm going here. Like, I'm so excited. I'm doing this major, that major. For some reason, I just couldn't feel the same way. I just felt like, oh, like, almost like it's a continuation of high school. And I almost felt like, upset with myself because I felt like I was almost taking like an easy route by going to a state school, staying near my hometown. I just felt like I wasn't challenging myself enough. And for that, I felt disappointed. So I just ended up like staying silent about it. We had a day in school where we were all like wearing our college t-shirts and being like, oh, I'm going here, I'm going here. And I just, I didn't wear anything. Like, I don't know, I wasn't proud almost to be going to UNH. And I feel like that almost just kind of made it not special to me. So I ended up choosing UNH and I, I never toured it. I never went to go visit, like, I have gone and visited other schools, but like I said, they just didn't stick out to me. They weren't special, they were too expensive, they, it wasn't what I wanted, like... And I guess, like, I almost felt like I didn't want to tour you in age. I didn't want to hear what they had to say, because I just, I don't know, I just felt like I didn't have to. So it became a little nerve-wracking, almost. It's scary to start something when you don't know how it's going to turn out. And I guess I was almost feeling a fear that like I shouldn't be excited about this because who knows how it's going to go. And I had just almost a negative mindset about it. Like it wasn't, I wasn't special for going to school. I wasn't special for going to UNH. Like I just thought like it is what it is. So I went through graduating high school and I kind of almost like kept it a secret as to where I was going. And I wasn't, 
I didn't want to tell people that I was going to UNH for some reason. I just felt like I saw all my friends like going to Florida for school, going to California, going to really good schools, going to like, and UNH is a good school. But at the time I just felt like, oh, I'm going to school 30 minutes from my house. What's so special about that? And it almost, it ruined something that was special. That negative mindset ruined something that was special. So summer goes on and everyone is asking me, what are you gonna do? Where are you gonna go? And at that time I was like, I'm gonna go to UNH, but I also, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I liked UNH because they had so many different majors and I just sucked at making a decision. And it's hard to pick something that they say you're gonna do for the rest of your life. Like, I just felt a lot of pressure. And I feel like almost that pressure ruined the experience of picking a school, of getting excited. So I was honest and I said, I didn't know, but you know, I'd figure it out. So summer comes to an end and I finally start. I met a lot of good people. I met some of my best friends here and I've had, I've made some of the best memories here. And I know a lot of kids in high school right now are starting to look at schools and apply to schools and like see what they're gonna do. And I totally think it's a normal feeling to be nervous about something when you don't know the outcome. But if there's something I learned through going through this process of going to school and meeting new people and choosing my classes, finding my path, is that you can't let fear hold you back from enjoying the little moments in life, or the big moments for that matter. And I learned throughout this time that I should be proud of myself. And no matter where I go or what I do, it's nice that I've worked hard. And now that I'm graduating, I look back at my time and I remember how scared I was to start. And it's a valid fear, but I wish that I was prouder to come here. And because it has been the best four years of my life and I will miss it, definitely. I think my message almost, my point in my story is to be proud of where you go, where you end up, because everything happens for a reason. And I believe that I was brought to this school for a reason. I am where I'm at for a reason. I think that it's important to celebrate the little things in life because that's what makes life worth living. And, you know, now that I'm about to graduate, I didn't even know in the beginning that I'd make it this far. And I think that fear almost held me back from, you know, really being proud of myself for even being able to be here in the first place. For those of you who are looking at schools this semester or making your final decisions, I would just say, no matter where you end up, whether it's college, whether it's a trade school, a job, community college, be proud of where you go, be proud of yourself, and celebrate those little moments. Thank you guys for listening and 